so this is the tongue specimen this is the tip of the tongue this is the root of the tongue this is dorsal surface of the tongue and this is the ventral surface of the tongue so it has got a tip a body and a root the body has got a dorsal surface and ventral surface the dorsal surface of the tongue is divided by a sulcus terminalis inverted v shaped sulcus terminalis the apex of the which will contain foramen cecum this is foramen cecum this is a site where the thyroglossal duct begins to descend so the sulcus terminalis divides the body of the tongue dorsal surface into anterior two third and posterior one third the anterior two third contains numerous papillae the fungiform and filiform is not clearly visible but you can see the foliate papillae as linear ridges along the lateral margin close to palatoglossal fold and this round structures are circumvellate papillae they are 8 to 20 in number present in front of sulcus terminalis 18 to 20 in number so this is circumvellate papillae this is foliate papillae the fungiform and filiform will be scattered filiform will be in inverted v shaped manner more numerous of all the papillae the upper surface is keratinized and does not possess taste buds fungiform will be like button shaped papillae scattered all over the tongue more along the lateral margins and the tip that will contain taste bud so circumvellate papillae foliate and fungiform will contain taste buds whereas filiform will not possess taste buds the posterior one third of the tongue that is behind the sulcus terminalis does not possess papillae but it contains numerous submucosal aggregations of lymphoid follicles the summit of which contain a small pore through which the lymphocytes will be poured into the oral cavity on either side along the lateral margin close to the sulcus terminalis is a palatoglossal fold behind the posterior end is a palatopharyngeal fold in between these two this is a tonsillar fossa which contains palate and tonsil palato pharyngeal fold palatoglossal fold tonsillar fossa with palate and tonsil the posterior most portion of the tongue will be attached to the epiglottis this is epiglottis one of the cartilage of the larynx so the anterior surface of epiglottis will be attached to the posterior most end of the tongue by three mucosal folds 1 2 and 3 so these three mucosal folds are called as glosso epiglottic folds this is median glosso epiglottic fold these two are lateral glosso epiglottic folds the space in between these two is called as valicula so this is valicula median and lateral glosso epiglottic folds epiglottis posterior one third of the tongue foramen cecum sulcus terminalis circumvellate papillae anterior two third dorsal surface foliate papillae this is the sagittal section of the head and neck you can see the tongue in the oral cavity side wall this is a hard pellet soft pellet with a uvula this is epiglottis so you can see the anterior two third of the tongue with the papillae in this you can see small small button shaped elevations these are all fungiform papillae numerous ones are filiform papillae this is circumvellate papillae and here will be the foliate papillae so this is anterior two third sulcus terminalis posterior one third so you can see the posterior one third related to palatoglossal fold palatopharyngeal fold in between these two the tonsillar fossa containing palatine tonsils so in this specimen you can see the fungiform and the filiform papillae button shaped elevations are all close to the lateral margin and tip are fungiform numerously scattered all over is filiform this is foliate and this is circumvellate 